Two communities are looking for answers after two serious fights at two schools yesterday, Murphy and Viger. Those fights sending nearly a dozen students to the Strickland Youth Center. News 5's Amber Grigley has been looking into the issue all day. She joins us now to tell us what Mobile County's family court judge and what Mobile's police chief had to say. Amber? Well, Peter, this is not a Murphy or a Viger High School issue. Both Judge Naaman and Chief Batiste tell me this is a community issue that needs to be addressed. And they hope this will help turn things around before it's too late. When something like this happens, it, 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 it's a good wake up call for parents to, to say to themselves, I think, you know, how are my children doing at school? Might be the time now to call your, your teachers, call your administrators, find out what's going on with your child. And if you don't like what you hear, then it's time to talk to your children. Y'all sit down and have a serious conversation about how things can turn bad real quickly. An important conversation today, shedding light on a growing concern in our community pertaining our youth. The school system doesn't have time to teach children how to behave and follow rules and be respectful. Uh, that's something that has to be taught in the home. Thursday morning at Murphy High School, nine students were taken to Strickland Youth Center after a fight. While trying to break up the fight, the principal and a teacher were injured. It's disturbing because it needs to really stop. A few hours later, another major fight broke out, this time at Viger High School, involving three girls using brass knuckles, sending one to the hospital and the other two were arrested. I think that we're just going to have to do a better job as a community that for those children that don't have the support mechanism uh, at home to teach them about conflict resolution to create some type of uh, environment where uh, they can get that particular skill set. There's definitely changes that need to be made and uh, uh, and there needs to be consequences for this bad behavior. But Mobile County Family Court Judge Edmund Naaman says this is troubling, but it's also a time to get the chance to work in a child's life and not turn our backs on them. This is a good thing. This gives us an opportunity now to deal with those children who I believe were good kids that were way off track on this particular incident and gives us a chance to work with them so that they can reach their potential. If we had turned our back on this and in not dealing with this, then I really truly believe that bad things could seriously come. Now, we reached out both yesterday and today to Mobile County Public School System asking for some type of information about both situ situations. They told us that they are willing to answer all of our questions, but they will not go on camera. This morning, I did reach out requesting to speak with the superintendent, and I have yet to hear back from them. But for now in Mobile, I'm Amber Grigley, WKRG News 5. Thanks, Amber.